Today kicks off a three day adventure through southern Idaho and our first day is spent in Twin Falls which is about two hours outside of Boise. If you're not familiar with Idaho at all, I think you'll be very surprised by how beautiful and how much this place has to offer. The first item on the list is the Blue Heart Springs here along the Snake River in Twin Falls. We're getting kayaks from the Banbury Hot Springs and heading up north about an hour on the river and you'll see what's in store. We're getting closer to the Blue Heart Springs and the scenery here is just amazing. I mean, everywhere you look, it's just beautiful. And so far we haven't seen anyone else out here. Uh, we came at eight right when the hot springs opened. So I think that's been key so far. So hopefully uh, there won't be anyone at the Blue Heart Springs. Um, that would be really great. We made it to the Blue Heart Springs, it's amazing, it's really really blue, the water is crystal clear, it's so funny. I was completely not expecting this because when you're going down the river, it's really just green water, not green, dirty, but green because it's deep, but this is really crystal clear. What we're going to do now is we're going to try to fly the drone to show you how blue it is and how clear it is, because I, I don't think you can see it through the just simple camera. Wrapping up here, we're gonna head back, turn the kayaks in. I think we ran over a little bit, but I think it was worth it. Uh, next, we're gonna head over to, next we're gonna head over to Box Springs Canyon, which is just around the corner, kind of. So now we're doing the Box Canyon Springs Trail. It's about a four mile loop trail 
Um, it's only about three if you pull to the closer parking lot, but there is a waterfall, there are rapids, um, and the big feature is obviously this cliff area that is just phenomenal. Oh, it's just Johnny. <laughs> Don't let the yawn equal the review so far. He's just tired. craziest thing is how blue that water is like it's so clear but dark blue at the same time it's just it's amazing <laughs> This waterfall is absolutely huge, and it's just like here in the middle of nowhere. Not nowhere, but nowhere. <laughs> We're gonna head back up. We're gonna go to uh, Twin Falls and explore the town and see what we can find. We're going to get food. <laughs> Let's go. So we just checked out Twin Falls, we just had lunch there, it was really good. We would have vlogged about it, but we were just a little too hungry to care. <laughs> so now our next stop on this uh, Idaho Falls scenic tour is a huge part of Idaho Falls. That is the Perrin Bridge. Perrin? Perrin? Perrin. The Perrin Bridge goes over the Snake River, which we've been exploring uh, a little earlier, and it is 993 feet across the river in the canyon. One of the best parts is that we literally walked maybe three minutes from the parking lot to get this view. And there's even a waterfall there. So the bridge was built in 1976 and it's actually the eighth largest bridge in the United States. It might be highest. It's actually the eighth, <laughs> eighth highest bridge in the United States. And that doesn't surprise me.
On the other side, a couple of hundred, a couple hundred feet up, there's going to be another waterfall, and we're going to go and check it out. Now, this waterfall is the Pierre Colvin waterfall, and it's just off the road, so you can literally just pull off and have a waterfall within seconds. That was super cool. I think that's the least we've ever had to work to get to a waterfall like that. It felt like not right in a way, but it was so cool. Now we are on our way to the last stop of the day, and this one is a doozy. It's Shoshone Falls Park. The falls are 212 feet high and 950 feet wide. And that's why it's known as the Niagara of the West. The falls are huge though. They are beautiful. I never knew this was in Idaho. You never knew this was in Idaho. Uh, if you're near Boise or Twin Falls, we definitely recommend coming to check it out. It's also five bucks to get in per car, but it's an easy walk to any viewpoint. I would not miss it if you come through here. It gets a little bit crowded, so bring your, your mask if you are one of the decent people that are concerned with that. I mean, they can just go over the falls. <laughs> so now we're gonna finish up the day. We're gonna go get a treat back in Twin Falls, and then tomorrow we're gonna be off to our next adventure in Idaho. Go explore Twin Falls. We'll keep you posted. Keep you posted? <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>